Here I have some beautiful red Argentine shrimp that I've already peeled, deveined, and washed, ready for seasoning. I have a very simple seasoning on my shrimp, just some kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper. So here are the other main ingredients we'll be using. I have beautiful pimentos from the garden, fresh ground garlic, some spring onions, green onions, scallions, they go by all that, those names, coconut milk, extra virgin olive oil, and sweet cream unsalted butter. Today I'm gonna to be using some hot Jamaican style curry powder. And since I have here, I have probably about two and a half pounds of shrimp and I usually use like a tablespoon per pound. So I'm gonna put approximately two and a half tablespoons or if I feel I need a little bit more, three tablespoons of curry powder. This curry powder smells so good. All right, so that's like two and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna mix it up and then I'll decide if I need to add any more. When I'm using this Jamaican curry powder, I like to add it to the seafood or meat, whatever I'm cooking, like right before I start cooking. So I would say within 15 to 30 minutes before you decide you're gonna cook would be a good time to add your curry powder and stir it up. I'm cutting up my green onions kind of on the diagonal. I think it's, um, it looks pretty, you know, and it's a nice change rather than cutting them straight down in like a circular pattern. So I'm gonna use some of these to start my pot and then I'm going to reserve the rest for putting in at the end after the shrimp is cooked. Now that I have everything prepped, it's time to start the pot. First, we're gonna start with some extra virgin olive oil. Next, we're gonna add our sweet cream unsalted butter. And once that melts, I'm gonna add my garlic and my green onions and my pimentos. And the sizzling has begun. So, in go the green onions, Oops. and the pimentos. That is so pretty. And the garlic. Now, even though I have my heat on high, it's not going real strong. Sometimes that happens. We have fluctuations in our um, electricity provider, let's say. So you just have to see how things are going. And uh, I do have it on a high heat, but if things start to heat up, I'm gonna be lowering the heat. I'm just gonna saute this for about a minute or two, and then I'm gonna add my shrimp. Oh, shrimp escaped from the pot. So these shrimp are going to cook within a few minutes and then we're going to add another ingredient.
Remember to stir pretty regularly because this is actually only going on four minutes right now and the shrimp are like almost perfectly cooked. Right, timer just went off. This is at four minutes and I think I'm going to reduce my heat now to like a medium high. I'm gonna add some coconut milk. So this can that I just added is a 5.46 fluid ounce. It's really convenient because a lot of times when we are using coconut milk and you open a big can, you don't use all of it at one time. So those that size is like really convenient and it's perfect for this recipe. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You know what? That is done, believe it or not. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Awesome. Thank you. 